Hello everybody, this is J.W. Nigerian. Um, and we're here at Rick Frischman's Author 101 with a uh, author, Loreen Sherman. Is That's that correct? Right. That's right. It's Lorene Sherman with Starting Incorporated. And uh -huh. the book that I've written is the book on formulaic communication. Okay, hold that up. Okay. Let everybody see it. I want everyone to see this. Yes, okay. <laughs> and um, that's, a, that's, a, 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 that's a long kind of formulaic communication. It is a long title, but the reason for that is... Well, it's not very, really long. It's, it invokes uh, science and technology. Yeah, it's and an intriguing title. Yes. Um, formulaic makes people have to stop and think, what's the formula in formulaic communication? Right. And actually this book has a lot of scientific background to it mm -hmm. because I am a scientist. Okay. So well, I... Let's, let's start with that. Let's start okay. with your background. All right. Who is... Who is Lorene Sherman? Who is Lorene Sherman? Well, Lorene Sherman's a complicated person, actually, aren't we all? <laughs> so the complications goes with the formulaic. Okay. But I've made a system and I've identified certain key elements to make communication simple. Mm -hmm. And what formulaic communication is, is the process of how you can take verbal, nonverbal, cognitive, reasonable, and creative elements so you can communicate to achieve an outcome. Mm -hmm. Now a lot of people think you can communicate, but achieving that outcome is tricky. Okay. And you've worked corporate side or what? what? Well, my background is I teach online with Meredith University, okay. and Meredith University um, is basically an online sub of the University of Phoenix, mm -hmm. which unfortunately will not be in existence at the end of May. Oh. But I have been speaking there or teaching there for over a year, mm -hmm. and my uh, specialty is organizational behavior and managerial decision making. Mm -hmm. And with that, I've learned because my students who are managers, executives, CDOs, directors mm -hmm. and there are a lot of international students that they have communication problems because of culture right. so formulaic communication identifies the shift in culture from the industrial age to the information age right and one of the things are interesting things we were talking about last night uh, when I first met you mm -hmm. uh, we had this really interesting conversation about the the demographics of age and the net and in the internet. Oh, and you're so right. What we have is we have the baby boomers who have had uh, a lot of very industrial information. Right. Be, um, the way that the corporate structure is is such that they have built it on a, basically a linear from top to bottom system. Now we have the Gen Ys coming in who are very creative and very innovative and the two mixes don't always match up. Right, so you, got, you have you to. Got the older generation wanting the younger generation to be more like them in business, right? You're right. You have the communication clash. Right. You have the olders who are established saying, walk up the ladder, do what I want. And you have Gen Y saying, well, I want to do it my way. Mm -hmm. And as we know, whenever you communicate, you have to understand each other's side. So part of formulaic communication shows the culture. Um, identifying the culture, and because I'm Canadian, I've included a part of the Canadian culture. Okay. Um, your book, what is it, what, how does it help? How does it help the regular guy or the, the corporate guy? Who, who's your, who's the best client for this book? Okay, My, the best client is the business client. Okay. But it has a general um, audience as well because the way it's designed is very unique. Instead of it being a read-through, this is actually a train-through, which okay. means it's an interactive book. So every mm -hmm. person that picks it up is going to have a different skill set mm -hmm. and they end up with a different element through the book. Very creative, very innovative. Mm -hmm. And I'm the key teacher, so as I present the, the book, mm -hmm. it's, it's a work it's a workbook. Um, I go through and I take the chapters and I explain them, but you're going to have a different element of reception because of where you come from. So I interweave the elements that I've got in the formulaic communication as mastery principles. Right, okay. And I want to make this compelling because uh, uh, there's, you know, we've talked about you know, the technology, you know, the technology and sociology about this thing, mm -hmm. but the business people out there Times are changing very quick. The paradigm is changing all over the place, whether it be economic, whether it be technology, the information age, the whole thing. It's coming at us so fast, it's changing. The, the pendulum is swinging back and forth. Is it MySpace today? Is it LinkedIn tomorrow? Is it Facebook? What the heck's going on? Where am I supposed to land and how am I supposed to deal with this? And should I have my guys out there twitting or should I not have them twitting? Is that wasting time in my corporation? 
Are th these are the thing, a lot of things you uh, address? Yes, I do. Social media is extremely important, mm -hmm. but social media is actually just another form of communication. Instead of it being on the phone where you're talking to your employees, right. now you're tweeting. And so what formulate communication does is it shows you the modes of communication. Mm -hmm. Communication essentially is verbal and nonverbal. And so it's recognizing the patterns that are the elements and triggers of what the other person is saying. Getting the common ground and then being able to formulate right. where you want them to go with it. Because ultimately communication is what do you want to achieve from this conversation? For right. example, in this one, I want people to know I have this book out. Mm -hmm. You know, so I presented the the dialogue to communicate that I have a book. Right. Now, every conversation in business has a particular end result, end outcome. And so what Formulaic does is it shows you how to address your audiences, or in other words, your business culture, mm -hmm. organize the structure so that you can then take and say, how can I propel this with the new employees I have, which are Gen Wires, which have been you know, basically using their fingers on these Twitter things. And you're kind of going, why are they using these fingers on their Twitter things? But if you look beyond the mechanism, which is the Twitter, to the f communication, the formula, and that's the key, is right. understanding the formula behind communication. Well, I, if I was a, a businessman, I would want to know the formula because I want my business to excel in the Oh, new, definitely. The oh, On so the other definitely. hand, there's, there's fear and lack-mindedness, maybe, about the fact that I'm losing control. I don't know what they're tweeting, and don't we need a plan for that, right? You're right. And you know what's really interesting? There's a study that was done. Uh, if you go on to Wikipedia... <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> it's, it's new to all of us. Mm -hmm. um, but the study was with the airplanes and blah, 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 I'm going to fast forward. Mm -hmm. But what was really interesting through it was the fact that formula people thought was rote. You had to be rigid and rote. And that's what the authoritative, the autocratic or the industrial age mentality taught was this rote. And that's where the fear comes in. Mm -hmm. The actual truth to it is communication is not rote. You make a mistake, you smooth all the over. Oh, wow, that's perfect because that's the fluid of communication. That's the creative element. When you understand the creative right. element, then bingo, you understand Gen Y. Bingo, you understand social media. Bingo. But there's tricks and tips, and it takes piece by piece. Right. I've got different exercises to help people with and this. And yeah, there is a learning curve here. There is a learning curve. Okay. Where can, if, if people want to, if people are interested in what they've heard here today, and they think it's, I, I, I think it, they'll definitely, you know, I think you'll definitely find it. If you're, if you're a business manager or, uh, or you own a business and you're, you're, you're trying to wrap your head around this whole thing. You definitely need to check out Lorraine, Lorraine's book. How can we get a hold of you? Uh, how, where can we find the book? You can find the book on my website, which is www.loreensherman.com. And I should spell that. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> it's L O R E E N S H E R M A N.com. Great. And you can also find me on Amazon. And I also have um, parts of me on uh, Kindle at this point. Oh, okay. So. Great. Basically, you can find me almost anywhere. Okay, wonderful. Okay, and we're at we're here at Author 101, uh, Rick Frischman's uh, university, uh, you know, book writing university, book writing, book publishing. Uh, as an author, what, why are you here? You're an author. You don't need to learn how to get a book out. You got a book out. Why are you here? Oh, you're so wrong. There's so much more than just writing a book. Mm -hmm. You have to know how to market your book. You have to know how to publish your book, and you have to know what your book is about. You know, a lot of people write just with an idea, but if you don't know your target audience and your reason for writing, your book sits on shelves and in the garages. So Author 101 has the whole kit and caboodle. It puts from start to finish, it takes you from your idea to the completion, and then it moves you beyond what you thought you needed. So you need to take and come to Author 101 University. You heard it here. Noreen, very nice meeting you. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, hold up your book one more time. Formulaic. Formulaic Communication. With Loreen. With Loreen Sherman. <laughs> it's the book on the information age and the industrial age and why we need to look at how uh, Gen Y and baby boomers communicate in today's world. All right. This is J.W. Nigerian and Loreen Sherman. Thank you. <laughs>